Welcome to another video of Selenium WebDriver series. This video series is brought to you by H2K Infosys, a leading online on-site video-based ID trading. And H2K Infosys is based out of Atlanta, Georgia, United States. Uh, let's look at the environment. We're going to stick to Selenium 3.0.1 and we're going to use the Gecko driver 0.11.1 with Chrome driver as 2.25. So let's move ahead. The topics that I'm going to cover in this particular video series are simulating the forward and backward buttons of browser. That means we need to understand how do we actually go through the browser history. And for that, we are going to use the navigate method. And then see what is listeners and how can we use listeners with WebDriver. Uh, we actually use a particular interface called as WebDriver Event Listener Interface. So we'll see the practical usage of listeners in Selenium. And then we'll see how do you move a mouse to a particular object rather to a particular link for example and right click on that and let's say after right clicking we also need to find the coordinates of the scrolled object okay so let's use the navigate method uh, the navigate method is basically used to navigate through the history of the browsers it can be also used to navigate to a particular url so we can use the navigate method and see the practicalities of it So I already have created a particular project called the Selenium 21 and uh, what I'm going to do is create a new class file uh, called as navigate uh, using navigation and I'm going to call the package as navigate package. Let's use the static method static made method out here and the other parts of the uh, selenium will remain constant so i can actually copy the chrome driver greco driver and ie driver from selenium 20 project copy and paste it so copy and paste it in selenium 21 that will make our life easier So that's done and uh, then I can actually copy the uh, common code uh, which is basically used to open up the Firefox browser and maximize the particular window. So let's copy that particular code. The only thing is that we need to change the path of this the workspace remains same the project name will change to selenium 21 and get code driver dot exe uh, the whole path will remain same the only thing that needs to be changed is the project name that is selenium 21 so i just need to check up the spelling of that the spelling is correct let's move ahead and uh, maximize the window and then i can use the navigate method to open a url for example so let's uh, navigate to URL. So what I'm going to do is is the following stuff. So I've got to show you manually what I'm trying to do. I'll open up, I'll navigate to bbc.com. Okay. And then I'm going to the sports section. Uh, I'm going to go to this more premier link, click on this okay the page is going to open the premier league clubs place is going to open get the title of it and use the back button to come to bbc.com okay and again click on the forward button to come back to more premier league talks on save landing page so we click on the forward button we can go to the same page out here this is what I'm going to do with Selenium WebDriver script. Now for using the back button and the forward button of your browser, we actually are moving through the history of the browser or the browser history. And we can move through the browser history by using the navigate method present in Selenium WebDriver API. So that's what we are going to use. So let's go back. I'm going to navigate to bbc.com. So let's create a script of that. So driver dot we need to use the get method we 
not the get method sorry uh, we're going to use the navigate method so let's use the navigate so dot navigate dot to to which particular URL uh, we're going to use the protocol and the URL is bbc.com so www.bbc.com out there okay and uh, then I'm going to click on on I'm going to click on more premier talk leak talks on safe landing I'm going to copy this first of all and put it in the script click on this particular part so I can click on this for example driver dot find element by the xpath and the xpath expression I can get it from the fire bug so let's get the xpath of this this is the xpath of that particular link and paste it and dot click method this is going to actually have clicked on that link now I'm going to use the back button manually I have to click on this back button through so selenium web driver I need to use the navigate method so click on the or I navigate through the history navigate back to the BBC main page for that manually I have to go and click on the back button so if I manually do it it actually was an open bbc.com that's the main page how do I do it with the script what I need to do is what I need to do is I need to use driver dot navigate dot the back method this is going to get me to the main page now let's say I want to navigate navigate to this particular page again how do I do that so let's say I manually want to move toward the same uh, page open by clicking on this particular link so I click on the forward button right and that's going to open up the uh, this page called Premier League clubs to have further talks how do I do with selenium web driver script what I need to use driver dot navigate dot forward so let's run this particular script now save the class file and run it So navigate to bbc.com then click on the link and this is clicking on the link through the web driver script and after that I need to use the back method which is a sub method on navigate to move back to bbc.com so let's see it is moving or not So that's where you see it is not moving so I need to look at the script then so that's not moving then so what is going to happen is that uh, the page opens and then we need to give some kind of static weight out here using the thread dot sleep method and check it out uh, let's give a sleep of 20 seconds for the back, met back method to work 
and this will invoke an exception which can be handled with the throws clause and thread dot slip needs to be used after the back method to or before the forward method of navigate is used so let's check out so just run the class file once more Let's open up bbc.com. It should click on more Premier Leagues right now. That's page. That is the page which opens. And it should move back to bbc.com. So let's see if it is moving back or not. So it's moving back to bbc.com. And after that, it will use the forward sub method of the navigate method to go to the forward page that is your that particular link so it goes back to that particular link premier league clubs to have further talks so the uh, earlier run did not implement the back and forward method because the script was not synchronized with the application after i gave the thread dot sleep method the back sub method of navigate and the forward sub method of navigate is working right now so that's about it for the navigate method and that's the practical usage of it